Hi everyone, welcome to our greenhouse. So this is how it looks now in our greenhouse since the marigolds start flowering already and yeah there are times when I come in here especially on the radish area like this one yeah last time the radish really grew big and there's a lot of leaves and now look what happened guys the rats eat it so I guess I gonna plant some radish again in this part yeah because this time but they're coming back though look was eaten by rats there's a lot in here last time when i get in there and then see look at the radish here the radish is here but they are still growing though there's quite a lot in here but the rats eat it then i decided i guess when we transfer into our house that's the time i'm gonna continue planting all the seeds here and some of the plants like the orchids i transfer it into our into the stump nearby the driveway and in here i planted some seeds like bell pepper and they start growing already but the uh, soil is quite dry and i need to water it again this afternoon and yeah last time guys i pull out all the old string beans and i plant new one yeah, after when I planted the seeds after two days they start growing a lot lots of it but in this part when I came back the next day and look at the greenhouse it was cut and eaten by I don't know if that's the R.E.T. or what but good thing some survive like those yeah and they start climbing already I hope they gave a lot of fruit so I can share it again to other people, especially to our friends and our neighbor. Yeah, they're growing here. But in here, I just throw some hot paper that I grown, uh, that I grown in here. But not yet coming out. I need to water those and the chives is really growing and also our we call this the blotter net yeah they start flowering <laughs> already and mixed with the look <laughs> this one guys when Scott has a stomach pain I take out some uh, the flower of this one we use it to boil and then screen it then i let scott drink the water out of it look at the marigold they start blooming already but hopefully the seeds that i planted here grew and not only that i also replanted some of the cucumber especially in those line all those all the seeds that i planted first was eaten so i get discouraged then i was thinking there are two or there are five i guess there are five survive the cucumber and they start fruit bearing already so i start to oh i need to plant more so i planted those again and good thing they grow look look at this those are all cucumber here and in here and even they are small before they start flowering already and fruit bearing look at that yeah 
Look at my cucumber. And look at this, guys. The cucumber start fruit bearing already and quite a lot on this. Oh, another more flowers there and there are fruits also. Yeah, I guess I gonna harvest one. Look at that. There's quite a lot cucumber here. And there's another one. Those are the big one. This one. Yeah. I guess I gonna harvest this one. So I can use it for Scott um, vegetable salad. Yeah. So we gonna check in the other side if the other seeds that I planted start growing. Oh my. The soil is quite dry. I guess I'm gonna need to replant this one. I tried to grow here some uh, carrots. But there are times that when we were busy, like buying some materials outside, I was not able to keep watering this part. But I know they will grow if we're always doing that. And in here, there are some of the, yeah, I'm not always been here in the greenhouse, guys, because last week, I was focusing on the pulling out the weeds in the ginger and garlic area, all those beads. Yeah. And this one start climbing already our string beans. Hope they grow a lot and bring more fruits again. And look at our our and this one here. I just planted some tomato here that I take out from the tomato that I make for vegetable salads for Scott. So I put it in the paper towel or tissue and then I bring it here so I can plant it. But this week I'm gonna focus in here again because there is only I guess one resting beds for the ginger that I need to pull out the weeds and mulching it then for the garlic so I can finish it easily in the morning and in here I have planted look at this but there are some grow already but it needs water yeah and look at this guys my okra start fruit bearing already even they are so small but I don't eat okra look look at my okra even here they don't flower but they go fruit directly but Scott don't like okra so some of this ornamental plants I already use it for the landscape and yeah so I have to focus now in here and like what I said, I also planted some of the bell pepper here and they start growing but it's mixed with the mixed with the weed so I have to pull out some <laughs> so these are all bell pepper and some are to my two that grow with them that I need to transfer also and water this part and yeah last time in this area I harvested one eggplant and look at this they really need water oh my god need water need more maintenance in here again 
So, I have to do some schedule for the garden, for the dragon fruit, for our garlic and ginger. And look at here, guys. Oh, my. Look at this. See? We have eggplant now. And this one also, look. <laughs> Another more. Yeah. And one more over there. I guess it needs water but yeah this one will be maintained more when the house is done since we are here already living in a place and we can monitor everything so this garden beds in our greenhouse we just using only um, organic fertilizer not the synthetic as i said before yeah we're trying our best to grow organic and yeah so this is how it looks now and my orchids again start blooming <laughs> this is hers this is the third time this one bloom in here look but i guess i gonna i can cut but this is but in here there is something growing here so I can transplant it I need really to water the plant it looks dry even though they already give some fruit I guess I need to harvest this one also guys the eggplant and the one of the cucumber they are big already and then if I don't harvest it maybe <laughs> other being will take it out so we can use it i have to harvest this oh yeah we need to harvest this good Okay guys, so I just harvest two eggplants and one cucumber. So all of this are organic food. We never put some synthetic fertilizer in our plants. We're trying our best really to grow like that. And yeah, I'm glad to get some food out of the plant that we grow here in our garden area. So this is how it looks now. I started already growing again some string beans and what's sad thing is that uh, I was excited on the radish when they grow big and there's a lot of leaves but when we come back the next day it was eaten by our 80 yeah but they are still coming back and growing so i guess we can harvest some of it in the future but when we are here already living in our house this everything here will be monitored and yeah okay, okay guys so that's for today thank you everyone please do like comment share and subscribe to our channel okay.